What's up, print fam? Welcome back to the print shop. I thought it might be interesting to do kind of a day in the life at the print shop. Um, so usually I get into the shop anywhere between like 9 and 11, depending on the day or depending on what's going on. More often it's been closer to 9. So first thing you do is go in, turn the lights on, and like let's sit down at the workstation so this is my workstation it's a couple cabinet boxes with just a top on the top so i've got my current pc sitting here waiting until i switch over to the mac whenever it gets here i use i believe this is a 44 inch tv as my monitor it works great it's a 4k monitor and it's just big enough that you can see it from close, but it's not too big like the old one that I had where it was like a 55 where you have to physically move your head. Got a couple of notepads that I can keep notes on, tasks, etc. A tumbler, my battery backup for the computer so that if the power goes out, then it stays on. So first thing I do in the morning is check my email. Like I've probably, I usually have done it already by the time I've gotten here because I usually will do that on my phone in the process of getting ready or if I'm helping kids with breakfast or doing different things and I've usually gone through and gotten rid of the junk mail but now I sit down for kind of the meat and potatoes of the email and see if I need to respond or do anything. So it's been about an hour and I answered a, just a couple of basic emails answering questions or going over kind of job statuses or what's going on. Um, kind of some bigger things that I did was with a lot of my promotional product suppliers, I have to prepay invoices. So I sent in a few orders for some pens yesterday. So I called them to pay for those invoices. I ordered some more product through some vendors. Uh, this was a new vendor. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. Um, if not, that sucks, but Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. They're a known vendor in the industry, so I think it'll be fine. Um, I put some artwork together for a few things so I could send some proofs out. Um, mainly the artwork that I did was a car magnet and um, some business cards. Um, I got approval for an apparel order, so I'm about ready to place that with Sanmar, just double checking the last few things, make sure I have no other like smaller orders since this order will hit their $200 free shipping mark. I want to make sure that I don't have any like onesie, twosie, fivesie type orders um, before I can get that placed. Um, then I'm preparing the screen print because the, the order was approved. Now I got to send it to my screen printer. So I'm prepping the email to him. I basically let them know, okay, these are the items. These are the sizes. These are the colors. I send them the proof mock-up that I sent to my customer for approval. I send them the colors, the placements, the vector artwork. Um, and then I also tally up the price. So I tell them this is the run charge for the front or back or sides or sleeves or whatever I'm doing. Tally up the run charge, tally up the screen charges, tally up the total so that we're both on the same page before the order even starts. So that when I go to pick up the order, I can pay him. Um, so that works out really well for both of us. Um, probably as soon as I finish up kind of the computer side of things, um, I will double check my current orders. So I use, I haven't even been in Pipedrive yet, but I use Pipedrive and Mon I'm starting to use Monday.com again because I'm trying to get my employee on board with that. So I'm gonna just go through my list of jobs. So I have like potential deals that I need to go over, product discussion, deals that I need to just make sure that I did that as part of today. If not, I need to potentially follow up with them if it's been rotting, so to speak. Um, I have a few jobs that are waiting on the customer response, so I'll see if any of those need to have responses to them now that, like, say it's been a week since I've heard from them, then I want to reach out and say, hey, did you get this email or did you change your mind or what's up? I've got stuff that's in artwork, meaning I need to prep the artwork. It's only like 11 and I'm yawning. Um, I have artwork or I have jobs in what I call approved prep work, meaning I either need to 
get them finalized so that they can go into production here or I need to get them finalized so that I can outsource them. Then I create the invoice and then I move it to production, whether it's internal or external. Internal puts it into monday.com. External just means I got to order it, but it's there for monitoring. And then I have those that are ready for pickup slash um, final billing if it's been directly drop shipped from the vendor. So I just need to go through that, make sure people are paying me. So finish up a little bit of the computer work. And then um, like one of the things that was already approved today was the magnets. Um, they're just some car magnets. I'm going to print them on the flatbed because it's easier than loading them up into the roll printer. Plus it's technically out of spec. Um, so I'm going to print those on the flatbed, cut them out on, print them on the flatbed, cut them out on the other flatbed. Um, and then we'll see what else we have to do today. It's Friday. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to work super late. Computer work is done. So now I'm going to prep the flatbed printer to clean the nozzles, warm up the ink, et cetera, not in that order. And then um, print the magnets, cut the magnets, and probably do a little bit of tidying. The office, the office could use a little help. So this is the current mess that I'm wanting to try to resolve. I wanna set up my new Dell here in the corner by all the network stuff. I want to finish my neighbor's Dell, plus figure out what I'm gonna do with this other Dell that I bought. Clean up the crap, so like organize the tools, put boulders away, so that it's just cleaner. Part of the issue is it rains. I moved this table, but now it drips. Still on the table, I was hoping to miss that, but I need to just try to keep that area clean clear etc so while i'm waiting for the printer to warm up i am running some roll labels i don't do many and most of what i do are these popcorn labels for one company these are the labels that i order they're ovals and this is mainly what this printer is used for One more batch of these stickers to print. I went through a whole cartridge of magenta basically yesterday. There's about 26 milliliters left. So I have the cartridge prepped and ready to replace so that I can just finish these last 11 sets. I didn't want to print any more yesterday because it only had about 70 milliliters left. So now that I've got this one, as soon as it's done, swap it out, finish the prints, so that my nephew can cut them all out tomorrow. Just got back from delivering some boxes that I printed earlier in the week and some cards that I printed on the Konica. And I'm feeling a little down now. I was having a really good day, really good week. Um, but it just goes to show that like, one hurtful thing can really change your mood. Um, there was a comment here on YouTube. Um, so sorry that I'm a little down now, but I, the place I was delivering to usually closes at four on Friday. So I left a few minutes before four so I could get there, dropped off their stuff. Dropped off some shirts to my screen printer. And now I'm back to finish up a few things. I wanna go deliver one more order just so that I can get paid on that. Um, and I've gotten a few emails in between. So I'm gonna do my emails first. The other business is open until like nine or 10 o'clock at night. So it's not really important what time I get there. They're a, like a food establishment. Um, so not super crucial what time I get there. They're actually not planning on me delivering the product until next week. So even if I decide not to do it today, which at this point I might just because of how I'm feeling. Um, I do need to get a couple of stickers printed as well. 
So that's what I might actually do is print those stickers. And then maybe I'll think about going and delivering those. So, um, yeah, it's almost five o'clock now. I try to leave around six. I tell people that I close at five, um, just so I can have kind of an hour of peace to wind down the day. Lately, I've been staying longer just because I've had a lot of work to do and just trying to get stuff done and out the door. Um, so people don't have to rely on me. I can get that done and hopefully get paid. So on with the work. Well, I think it's going to be time to call it a night. I printed the sample stickers that I needed. I'm going to go deliver some stickers. Then I'm going to go home. I got everything prepped for my nephew tomorrow, shot a video of the things that I needed to do. He's got a list and the video explaining things. I'll probably be in a little bit to get a few things taken care of. Um, I did not, I did not get anything really cleaned up. Um, I guess the, really the only other thing that happened is I might not have my laser anymore. So more to maybe come on that. But thanks for watching. Sorry that I kind of got bummed out, but hope you kind of enjoyed the day in my life. I'm gonna, like I said, go make deliveries, go home, spend a few hours with the kids. It's seven o'clock right now. So go home and maybe have a little bit of a weekend and come back Monday and do it all over. So thanks for watching. If you have questions, let me know. Bye, Perf fam. I ended up coming back to the shop. Um, I delivered the one set of stickers. I got one more that I need to deliver. Ended up coming back to the shop. I don't remember, it's, oh, for YouTube videos. So it's the weekend, I'm trying to do Vlogmas, meaning I'm trying to upload every single day this month. And because it's the weekend and I don't really wanna work, gotta work now to make up for that time so came back to work on a couple of youtube videos um also ordered some parts for the computer that i just sold that i talked about earlier today and i i'm gonna respond to some more emails yeah so always something to do when you're self-employed especially when you get to my size it just gets worse and worse the amount of time you're spending so thanks again for watching and we'll see you in tomorrow's video.